Hey guys, this is Chaos Richie and welcome to Editing 101 Lesson 6. I'll be talking about 3D motion tracking because someone requested that on the Facebook page. So I've got a cinematic right here from Gears of War 3. And it's outside of devs. Yes, I got outside of devs. And uh, I'm just rotating around this arch. And uh, there are two ways to, or there's many ways to do uh, 3D motion tracking, but um, I only use two. The first one is to use the built-in camera tracker from After Effects CS6. Uh, it's over here, it says tracker, and then you can click on track camera. And then it will analyze the footage and create a 3D track. So... Um, it will take a while, so I'll just skip this, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, so um, the track is finished, and you can see a lot of dots over here. And if you go through the clip, then you will see that they stick to the surface. So uh, it looks like a good track. And the next thing that you should do, like if we want to put a text here in the middle, uh, then you could, for instance, right click on this little points and create null and camera so it creates a 3d camera right now and a null it's right there so the null basically is not moving what is moving is the camera because if you go to the position of the null it's this value and it's not changing the only thing that's changing is the position of the camera as you can see there are a lot of keyframes so now we can put stuff in this uh, footage and make it look like it's um, within the environment. So if we create a text layer and just type editing 101, let's do a different font. Uh, this one's plain. All right, let's make it white and let's have some stroke. All right, now let's make it 3D and it will go away into the middle. That's the uh, the middle of the, of the composition. So uh, we want to put it somewhere in here. So just copy the position of the null and paste it on the position of the, of the uh, text. And as you can see, it's very tiny, so uh, we need to increase the the uh, what is this? What is it called? The font size. So let's increase it and then put it down like this, and then increase the stroke too, so you can see that. Oh, that's that's wrong. All right, so. Let's see, let's uh, rotate it a little bit. So we'll push R for rotation and rotate it that way. All right, let's make it a little bit bigger too. Like that. Yeah, and as you can see, it's tracked and um, it's uh, the only difficult thing about this is to get to the point where you want it to be because you cannot really see it. Uh, what you could do is um, make multiple um, multiple nulls, like you know where it is, like make one here, uh, we have that one and this one for, for instance, and then uh, click here and press two views horizontal. And then click on this view and set this to, oh yeah, top is fine. All right, so um, here you can see where the nulls are. So this one is over here. Let's see, which one is that? All right, so that's, that one is over there. That one is over there, so it's a little bit behind that one. Which, I don't know if it makes sense or not, but I guess it is. And then this one is also not so far away from that one, if you look in this axis. 
and uh, yeah that looks like it's all right so then it is here in the middle where we want it to be so uh, if I'll just preview this very quickly hopefully it will be quick yeah come on All right, I'll just stop it over here. <laughs> H O R uh, I. <laughs> Wait, I have uh, someone talking in the cinematic. But yeah, this is how it looks, and uh, it's tracked very good. It's very well. Um, uh, the only thing that I would change maybe is, let's see, where's the text here? Make it overlay or something that looks pretty interesting. Yeah, so now you can type whatever you want in there and it will just stay. So I can just type hello or Richie is the best. And it will just stick there. So uh, that's the first way that you can do this. Um, the motion track of the built-in camera tracker is pretty good. But sometimes it will not do the job properly and you can um, use other plugins. Or you can use a different program. So uh, we will go outside of After Effects right now. You need uh, to download a different program called Buju. I'll just delete this all for now. And delete the camera tracker. And I'll open up Buju. Alright, so here we have Buju. And uh, I don't know which version this is. It's I think 5 point something. But uh, it doesn't really matter. I think they all do the same job. So um, this will be a little tutorial how to uh, do the motion track in Buju. So click on import sequence and go to your um, to your file. Uh, there are some things that you need to know. Uh, let's see where is it? It's on desktop. Dev cinematic. Uh, the if you want to import it in Buju, don't use MP4 files because the track will not be good. Use um, the QuickTime Movie uh, extension and make sure, like, if first you import it, so click Apply, then you set the frame rate to the appro appropriate frame rate, and it's 30 for me. Um, apply that too. So now you apply the frame rate, and it should be good now. And you have the footage inside of Buju. So now you need to track the feature. So just click on this button and everything is set and you can just click on start. So now you also see a lot of points just like in After Effects with the built-in uh, camera tracker plugin and uh, it will calculate the 3D space. Alright so uh, the motion tracking is uh, complete only um, this is not um, f fully finished yet, you need to uh, create the camera, so uh, you click on the camera solve button. And you can click these checkboxes if you want. I uh, do it randomly to be honest, I don't know if it helps or not. But you could do optimize camera path smoothness, I think. So uh, click on start again. <coughs> again. And if it... Um, if it's... Uh, solves very quickly then that's a good sign because uh, it doesn't need to um, to think a lot like the processor so uh, it's done already so that's a good sign and you can see um, all the dots on the screen they stick very nicely here and uh, the yellow dots are I think uh, the dots that are not being used at that frame yes they're not being used but they are there like they're not shown like if you go here these are blue that means that they are used in this frame and if you go here or not <laughs> oh no wait yellow means that they are used and blue means they are not used at that moment but that's not important all you need to do now is export this camera solve so click on export export camera solve and it needs to be an after effects 
export type so that's good and um, this is also good oh wait I forgot one thing you need to um, right click one point like here and click on flag for export so now you flag that point and now you can go to export camera solve um, click on export flag to tracks only um, browse to your desktop or wherever you put your stuff I'll just do it on my desktop right now and call it um, tutorial track and this is all right this is also cool um, I think you need to scale by 1000 or 100 um, I'll just do I'll just do 200 I think that's enough uh, if you don't do this then um, the values will, will be very like the difference will be very low and will be very hard to uh, move stuff uh, just scale it by 200 I think that will be enough we'll see and then uh, click on save and it's done then you can uh, go to your desktop and drag the the file into After Effects and it will create a composition here it is tutorial track and you will see this null that's that uh, point that we uh, flagged for export and I think I should have scaled more maybe yeah I should have scaled by 1000 I think but uh, we will see um, just put the cinematic here too so you will see it and uh, yeah here you go here is your point and Bujo motion tracks are usually much better than uh, the built-in camera tracker but uh, if the camera tracker can do it then you don't need to do it with Bujo but um, here's the same thing you can just um, create a text again hi and make it 3d copy the position oh this one is way bigger right now that's because I didn't scale it enough I think or I scaled it too much one of those um, I need to make it like 50 I think all right and then put it down yeah I need I had I had to scale it more so next time when you do this uh, scale it by 1000 instead of 200 and then rotate it a little bit too um, like that I don't know just fooling around so this is a big text but yeah it's tracked it's somewhere in the middle there now and yeah so that's how you do it and um, there are also other plugins but uh, I'll just cover these two and uh, yeah that was it for today guys um, go to the Facebook page and um, ask for some uh, tutorials um, someone asked this one so I uh, replied to that of course and here it is so if you have any other requests for editing tutorials I'll check them out on the Facebook page uh, the link is in the description and next time I think we will be talking about uh, trap code form there's this uh, particular effect that uh, someone uh, in my chaos team uh, asks for so I'll do that next time and uh, yeah next time will be Wednesday so I'll see you guys next time peace